Our former Prime Ministers Tony Abbott and John Howard have both hit the hustings, supporting the controversial Warringah candidate Catherine Deves. Gabriella Power is at Manly for us today, live. Gabriella, two former Liberal leaders, they're behind you in uh, support of Catherine Deves. Kieran, former Prime Minister John Howard is behind me. He's alongside Liberal candidate for Warringah, Catherine Deves. He arrived around half an hour ago. John Howard and Catherine Deves had a coffee together and uh, right now they're making their way towards the Manly Corso, which is uh, what it's called here on Sydney's Northern Beaches, making their way to a pre-polling booth. They've been stopping along the way to speak to voters, shake their hands. As you can see, there are a few Catherine Deves volunteers uh, around them. We've got quite a crowd, actually. Actually, and also some Zali Stegel volunteers walking around us as well. So uh, two former Prime Ministers in one day supporting the controversial candidate Catherine Deves. Earlier in the day there was uh, former Prime Minister Tony Abbott. He joined Catherine Deves as they visited a shopping village on Sydney's northern beaches. I had a chance to catch up with both of them and uh, Catherine Deves, she has walked away from her apology over her comments on transgender people and transgender surgery but he, she says that uh, women in sport is still an issue on uh, voters' minds, particularly for parents. Take a listen. Oh, look, the main issues are to do with cost of living, it's to do with small business recovery and support, it's to do with health services. Uh, for those of us that have daughters in sport, it's, it is an important issue, uh, but of course it's not the most important one. Do you think this controversy has harmed Catherine's campaign? Uh, the short answer is not really, because uh, on the fundamental issue, uh, the right of women to fair competition in sport and the right of women uh, not to face unfair competition from biological males. I think 90% of people are with her. Kieran, Warringah was once a traditionally safe Liberal seat. This was, of course, until 2019, the last election, and Tony Abbott lost his seat to independent candidate Zali Stegall. She holds the seat of Warringah by a margin of 7.2%. But the latest polling shows that support for Catherine Deves has actually increased. Speaking to her earlier, she says that this is a boost in confidence. Look, I'm feeling very confident. Uh, obviously, she has been the incumbent for the last three years. However, what has she what has she done? People are talking about her climate action bill. It didn't even go to a vote. Uh, she's been taking credit thing, for things that uh, Mr Abbott got through uh, during his time. Uh, so I think that if I'm able to get to Canberra, get that seat at the table, I'll be able to get some things done for the people of Warringah. Mm. Are you concerned Ali Segal might get in again? Look, uh, I'm just doing everything I can to ensure that Catherine Deves gets in because I think that Warringah deserved to be part of a mainstream government. We are on the move here. Kieran, John Howard and Catherine Deves are stopping off constantly to say hi to voters and they make their way to the pre-polling booth here in Manly. A few locals around today, also some tourists and also we spotted world surfing champion Lane Beachley with her husband in excess star Kirk Pangilly. I spoke to them to get a sense of what they feel may happen on Saturday and what their feeling is on the ground here in Warringah. I feel that um, Zali might have a pretty strong lead. I feel like she's um, been really proactive with the community and uh, she's got a lot of support in this area. I think Catherine Deves will get in. Why is that? I think she's a strong character. I think she's um, telling the rest of us that we can speak freely and we shouldn't be uh, treated the way she's been. Uh, no, I think she'll be good. I, I think she'll be a lot better than Zali. Oh, we're not sure, really. It might be a close call, mightn't it? Zali will eat it. You think Zali oh, will? Yeah. yeah, of course. Why? She's such a better candidate. She hasn't got the baggage. So mixed reaction from voters there. There's a bit of a crowd gathering around former Prime Minister John Howard and Catherine Deves at the moment. A few people taking selfies. Let's take a look at what's happening now. We are walking towards this pre-polling booth, so it is expected that the former Prime Minister will be sticking around this afternoon, hopefully answering a few questions from journalists uh, later this afternoon, Kieran. Gab, yeah, we'll leave you with it. Great job there in Warringah. Looks like a, a lovely day on the northern beaches. Sky News, we will remind you now, has the biggest and best election night panel this Saturday. Don't miss it. I'll be joined by an all-star lineup bringing you the quickest results and the best analysis.
We're live around the nation speaking to all the winners and losers, plus Sky's seasoned lineup of expert political presenters will weigh in with the big breaking news. It all kicks off live, 5pm. We're off early, 5pm Eastern. Do not miss it this Saturday.